everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five freezer friendly lunch options for kinder or school so we're here today in my kitchen and i'm going to show you five healthy lunch options that are just grab and go options that you don't have to spend any time in the morning preparing lunches um, it's crazy my daughter is gonna be starting kinder next week and I thought what better video to share with you guys than these lunch options so if you like videos like this please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here on my channel um, I post up videos every Wednesday I was a little bit delayed this week because of the Australia Day public holiday that I just spent with family um, so please subscribe to my channel and let's get into it so for my first recipe, I'm making veggie noodle frittatas where I'm using two of the 75 gram packet chicken noodles, one cup of grated carrot, ham strips, three eggs, um, one grated zucchini, one third frozen peas and one tablespoon of soy sauce. And I'm going to be including all the recipes down below in the description bar. So first you're going to want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius and on the conventional setting. And then you're going to want to go ahead and boil some water. So the next step is to take the noodles out of the noodle packets and crush them and place them into a heat proof bowl. I did not use the spice mixes that come in the packet. Um, you're free to do so if you want to give the noodle frittatas a little bit of flavor but I left them out of my recipe you can see I'm quite messy here <laughs> trying to crush those noodles and it's flying everywhere but I'm trying my best and I somehow got all of it in the bowl I think Next, I added the frozen peas to the bowl and then I added my hot water and just covered the noodles. There's no exact measurement or anything. And then I left the noodles to cook for two minutes or, you know, whatever the packet says to do. Usually it's two minutes, so that's how long I left them to cook for. So after the two minutes are up, I just take the bowl and just drain out the noodles my next step was to take a jug and break the three eggs into it next i added in one tablespoon of soy sauce Then I added in my ham strips. And then my grated carrot. So I just gave it a stir first because you don't want to just chuck everything in there and you know, it just gets too hard. So. I just mix as I go so <laughs> made a mess again but I added in my grated carrot and then I you know um, just whisked that as well and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my grated zucchini so I just realized I needed a bigger jug as you can see everything's falling out everywhere so that is why I've just grabbed myself a bigger jug and just make my life a little bit easier and just <laughs> transfer everything into that jug and you can easily just whisk everything in there. So I just go ahead and add my grated zucchini in there and just whisk everything around. So this is what my mixture is looking like right now. It's looking a little bit icky, but trust me, you guys, it's going to taste amazing. 
and it's going to look amazing in the end. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my noodles and peas mixture that I've just cooked in the boiling water and just whisk all of that around as well. And next you want you're gonna want to go ahead and transfer that mixture into a muffin tray evenly um, just with a spoon Next, you're going to want to pop the muffin tray into the oven and set the timer for 15 minutes. Um, I suggest that you know you just keep checking on your uh, noodle frittatas because mine ended up taking about 25 minutes instead because the, the egg was still a little bit runny. So everyone's ovens are going to be a little bit different. I've realized that. So just keep checking on your noodle frittatas and you'll know when it's ready when the egg is set but not too set so that it's not too hard and um, but it's not runny as well so it's just perfect nice and soft and the noodles are really nice and crispy on the top. Once the noodle frittatas have baked in the oven, you're going to want to leave that to cool for 5 minutes before transferring all of them onto a wire rack to cool completely. This is what they look like now. They look so soft but so crispy on the top. Um, I'm trying to to resist um, biting into one right now. I've just had lunch, so I'm trying not to eat too much and trying to save all of that yummy goodness for Annabelle's kinder. So for my next recipe, I'm going to be making my famous sausage rolls, but I'm going to be putting a twist on it. I'm going to be including some veggies. So for this recipe, you will need three sheets of puff pastry, some parsley, one zucchini, one carrot, one capsicum, some sausage mints. Um, I ended up getting the um, the shredded parsley because I couldn't find fresh parsley in the supermarket. One egg split into the yolk and the white. Some garlic, one onion chopped up, and sage leaves. Well, I couldn't find the fresh one, so I just settled on the ground sage. <laughs> The next step is to lay baking paper on two large oven trays. And then you're going to want to set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and on the conventional setting. And then before I cut up my produce, I'm just going to go ahead and wash them first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and chop up the zucchini and the capsicum. Next, you're just going to need a food processor or a blender and then to that you're just going to add the chopped onions, the chopped veggies, the parsley and the garlic. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're just going to want to pulse the mixture for a few times until everything is finely chopped. So the next step is to add in the vegetable mixture and then you're going to want to add in the egg white and then the sausage mince and then the sage powder. And then you want to you want to go and mix it all up. So either with a spatula or I just liked using my hands. It was just super easy to just mix everything up completely. So I haven't forgotten about the egg yolk. So with the egg yolk, you just add one tablespoon of water and whisk it up. And there's your egg mixture that is going to act like a glue to stick the pastry together. So next, you're going to want to take that meat and vegetable mixture and place each portion in a log shape onto the pastry sheets. So making two logs per pastry sheet here i'm just trying to be super neat <laughs> and trying to put equal portions on the pastry sheet try not to put on too much because it's just going to be harder for you to roll them into you know um roll them in and you know cut them and you're gonna have like mixture coming out the size and everything so it's best to just put the least amount of portion on there and then if you have extra meat and vegetable mixture you can just use it on another you know pastry sheet so after this i'm just going to brush some egg wash onto the edges of the pastry sheet and then you're going to want to cut the pastry sheet in half and then you're going to have to roll the pastry sheet tightly over each portion and seal it with that egg wash and then after you've rolled them in and seal them, cut each roll into six even pieces or how many pieces is it permits and then place it, place them onto a bit, the baking trays. So the next step is to brush each roll with the egg wash. This just ensures that each roll is sealed completely and I find that this egg wash on the top of the rolls makes them more crispier and much more delicious and yes I feel like this is just such an important step and then you just place the rolls in the oven and bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes or until golden and cook through So this is what they're looking like. They look so delicious. Look at all that crunchiness on the top. And I think this is so much better than the sausage rolls that I usually make. I think I'm just going to make them like this all the time. So the next recipe that I'm going to be making is these veggie pizza rolls. So for that, you're gonna need two sheets of puff pastry thawed, one tomato, one carrot, one fourth cup of baby spinach, one zucchini, half chopped onion, half chopped um, capsicum, olive oil, pizza sauce, and mozzarella cheese. Next, you're gonna want to go ahead and set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and on the conventional setting. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and wash all my produce. So washing my um, tomato and my zucchini and my carrot and then I'm just gonna chop them up.
Next, I'm just going to add in all those chopped veggies into a wok or a frying pan with oil and just fry a saute them until they've gone soft and then you just add in your baby spinach and fry that up until it wilts. Next, I'm just going to add in the pizza sauce into a food processor or a blender, whichever you choose to use. And next, I'm just going to add in the sautéed vegetables and baby spinach into the food processor. Next, you're just going to turn your food processor on and I just set it onto the puree setting. So this just kind of makes it um, blend into a sauce kind of consistency, which is just what I need. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and just spread that sauce mixture onto the pastry sheets evenly and leave half an inch gap from the edges. And then you're going to add your mozzarella shredded cheese. Just sprinkle it over the top of the sauce. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and roll the pastry sheets. Um, I tried my best. I mean, I think I'm really bad at this. I think I need classes to roll pastry sheets because I was trying to roll it like I was rolling sushi and I've never made sushi or eaten sushi ever in my life, which is a little bit crazy. I know a lot of people like sushi, but I don't really like sushi. I'm sorry, but I think I'm just going off track here. But yes, yeah, so you just roll the pastry sheets just as evenly as you possibly can and then you're gonna want to take some egg wash and brush it over both of the rolls and next you're just gonna want to go ahead and cut the rolls up into even pieces next you want to go ahead and set the oven to 15 minutes for the rolls to cook the rolls are looking absolutely delicious and the whole house is smelling so amazing. I'm trying my best not to bite into one of these and I'm pretty sure Annabelle is gonna, is gonna love these. So for my next and final recipe, I'm gonna be doing the healthy veggie chicken nuggets. So for that, you're gonna need 500 grams of chicken mince, half a head of cauliflower, half broccoli, um, breadcrumbs, panko crumbs, um, and some garlic, and then two carrots, two eggs, um, pepper, canola oil, and some mozzarella cheese. So next, I went ahead and washed my cauliflower, and then, well, I'm trying to chop it without any mess, but I can't avoid it. <laughs> But um, I chopped up my cauliflower into little bits. And next, you're going to want to go ahead and place the bowl of broccoli into the microwave and set it on two minutes to steam. That way, it'll soften it up. Next, you're just going to want to do the same thing with the cauliflower. So set it in the microwave for two minutes and that way it just softens up as well. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and grate my carrots. And yet again, the trusty food processor comes out. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to add in my chicken mints. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add in two, the two eggs. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add in my steamed cauliflower and my steamed um, broccoli and then my grated carrot. So I found my mistake. <laughs> I put in way too much in the fruit processor. So what I did was I just took half of it out and then I just did it in portions. I mean, 
look how much I've packed into that food processor so all you have to do is just take half of it out and just do it in two portions so next you're gonna want to add in your garlic your breadcrumbs the cheese and also some pepper and then you're gonna want to set it back on the food processor and just mix it up again and then you're gonna want to take two plates and then add in the panko crumbs just on one plate and then you're gonna just take your chicken mints and then roll it up into ball into balls and then flatten it and then just cover it with the panko crumbs and transfer it to the other plate so i found just making two portions of the nuggets has you know we had two portions of the mints to mix in the food processor it was just so much easier and you're going to want to take your chicken nuggets and fry them up in a pan of oil look how delicious these chicken nuggets look they look so crispy and you can't see any vegetables or anything in there I'm pretty sure this is going to be an, one of Annabelle's favorite lunches. So that's it for my video, you guys. I am so tired. I've just come into the bedroom to lie down for a bit before going and picking up the kids for my mom's. But I'm so glad I got to finish those lunches for Annabelle's kinder, which I still can't believe it. She's four and she's starting kinder next week. I don't know where the time has gone. So I really hope this video motivated you. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos like this. And on motherhood, DIY, organization, you will find it all here on my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!